Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And we do have an update from the Springbok squad. 16 players have officially been released from the squad ahead of the first ever test um, against Portugal this weekend, taking place at the Toyota Stadium down in Bloemfontein, which is where we are at the moment. Very cold Bloemfontein and uh, expect weather conditions on Saturday to be fine for some running rugby, but quite cold. Uh, so if you are going to stay, make sure you pack warmly. Um, but in terms of this update, Rusty Rasmus has released um, a, a 16 players from the squad who will take a bit of a break and reset before rejoining uh, the squad next week or the following Sunday uh, before the preparations for the Wallabies um, do um, um, begin basically we've got a week of preparation then we'll go over to australia we play back-to-back -back tests um, against joe schmidt's side we then return to south africa have a weekend off back-to-back -back tests versus the all blacks and then we go away to argentina and then home we finish our um sort of rugby championship in nelspreit before we look at the players let's uh uh, please do smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. So we've got a list of 16 players, and uh, it's kind of a lot of the players you kind of, I suppose, would expect, really, uh, in terms of um, players who are not obviously involved this weekend and um, are kind of sort of the, the core of the squad. Players who will probably play a very big part of the rugby championship. Uh, so the players are as follows. Sierk Lisi, Peter Seth Toy, Mark Verstaan, Quaker Smith, and Jasper Visa all um, uh, loose forwards. That five of them make, makes up almost a third of the players who have been released. You've then got uh, Evan Etzebeth, Vincent Koch, Franz Mohoba, Kira Stenekamp, Bongi Minambi, and Malcolm Marks, competing all the forwards that have left the squad. Villaru out, Chesden Colby, Fafta Clark, Conde Pard, and Jason Creel also all departing the squad. Uh, and that is in addition to Damien Delende, who left the squad earlier this uh, week on uh, for personal reasons. Franco Mossett, um, who was also ruled out with injury, as well as Edel van der Merwe, and they have not been part of the squad this week um, there are two players who have been retained in the squad who are not part of the 23 in grant williams as well as ox in chair um, basically because of the utility nature uh, you know uh, nature of the players there's so many different players you can cover different positions that we don't need to have a 30-man squad there on saturday for example so between grant williams and ox and chair and the other 23 players even if there are, you know, even if there is an injury in the warm, which is very unlikely, there are enough players and there's enough cover. Uh, Rusty Rust was also talking about the fact that if anything were to go wrong in the captain's run, you know, players are only a flight away. So speaking on uh, uh, the, the reason for releasing these players, Rusty Rust was said as follows. Uh, we have a demanding Castle Lager Rugby Championship campaign coming up, and we've been in training camps and competition respectively uh, since J June. So we thought it would be beneficial to give the players who are not playing this weekend a proper break to regenerate. The players have Thursday off, and we have only have the captain's run left on Friday before the match, so it makes sense to give the players not involved in the match some time off. We are playing back-to-back -back test matches against the Wallabies in Australia next month, and then we face New Zealand on successive weekends in South Africa, followed by a short tour to Argentina and then a trip to Nelspreit, where we will conclude the tournament against Las Pumas, so we have to be sensible in how we manage the players to get the most out of them on the field. Um, commenting on the decision to retain only two players in injury cover, Erasmus said that Bloemfontein is only a flight away if we need additional cover. And since we had a big group of players who are all fully clued up on what we expect from Portugal, so I believe this is a, the best decision for the team. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, is, it, it isn't a flight away. So anything comes up and players can be flown in. And I think that that whole idea of a break is very important. I think that this Ireland series was very taxing on the players. Um, you know, we have been in camp for a while, you know, the, the Wales test, for example, another two Ireland tests. Um, and it's a very long international season if you were to basically play from June through until the end of the rugby championship, which is almost, you know, end of September, you know, it becomes almost like a four month window. So I think it is very important for some of these players to have a break. Some of these players went straight from top 14 semifinals and, and premiership playoffs, straight into camp, for example. So those 10 breaks, 10 days break doesn't sound like a lot, but it just allows players to kind of switch off, get themselves mentally prepared, sort of put um, behind, you know, the likes of the Island series, you know, let bruises heal, bumps and stuff like that. So by the time we go back into camp, um, where they will arrive on, on Sunday, uh, the 28th, um, you know, with, with training to resume on 29th, they're ready to go and, and fully ready to go to give a proper rugby championship campaign go. Because I do think that the rugby championship, for me, very, very winnable. Got to try and beat um, Australia over, uh, over there. So I do think we'll take quite a strong side, given how uh, recently our record has not been great in Australia. And uh, then we're going to go and make sure we put in a big effort against the All Blacks, try and beat the Mayors Park, see if you can go back to back. At the end of the day, we are the most settled side. 
Uh, if you look at the various different teams in the rugby championship with regards to the core group of players being the same, a lot of the core groups of, of the coaching staff being the same. Yes, we are looking to implement new structures in the forms of a Jerry Flannery defense and a, 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 a Tony Brown attack. And that's going to take some time. But I think we are in general a lot more settled than All Blacks with you know lots of big players who have, who have left a new coaching staff. Um, Australia, brand new generation ready for them players wise, coaching wise. Uh, Quantum Pony coming in for Argentina. So, you know, it's three new head coaches coaches in the rugby championship uh, yeah i suppose Rashi rasmus is technically a new head coach in that he's sort of taken that role back but he's been involved with the size of 2018 and heading up the side really uh, since 2018 so not much changes there let me know what you think down in the comments below please do smash the like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon